Hey guys, welcome to reading class. All right, last week we talked about context clues. And that's something that we've talked about a lot actually this year. Like I said, almost every time that we go over vocabulary words, I use context clues to try to get you guys to figure out what they might mean. I give you some sentences with clues in them and usually you can figure it out. That's all context clues is because it doesn't matter how old you get, you're always going to end up coming to a word that might be kind of hard and it might stump you up. You might not know what it means. So you have to have some clues or some ways to figure it out. And almost all of these words will have some clues around them. You just have to look and find them. So we're going to practice that just a little bit today and then we'll take a little quiz so you can show me how great you are at context clues, okay? Alright, so let's take a look at some words. Alright, so you will see some words on this screen. Some of them you may know and some you may not. And even some of the words that you do think you know may not mean exactly what you think they mean. So we're going to look at these and use some context clues to figure it out. Um, the first couple of words I found here are words that are actually in um, the volcano story that we're going to look at tomorrow. One of them is, well I know this is in active, yeah, inactive. So let's look at a sentence from the story and see if we can figure out what inactive means. The volcano was inactive. It hadn't erupted in 2,000 years. Okay, so I see the word inactive. When I use my context clues, I'm going to look at all of the words and sentences around it and see if it gives me kind of a clue. Okay, it says that a volcano was inactive and that it hadn't erupted in 2,000 years. That's kind of a big clue right here. The fact that it hadn't erupted. If it's inactive and it hasn't erupted or hadn't erupted, what do you think? Does the, the volcano have any ashes or lava that is coming out of it if it hadn't erupted? No, no. So inactive means that it's not active. It's not moving. Nothing's happening in the volcano. Um, all these snow days, you guys have maybe have been pretty inactive. Have you been not active on all these snow days? Maybe just sitting around on your tablet and TV? Yeah, because there's nearly not much to do. It's been so cold, you can't really go do anything. So yeah, inactive means not active. All right, so let's look at another one that's in the volcano story. It's the word stranded. Yeah, stranded. So let's look at a sentence. When my tire went flat, I was stranded at school and I couldn't go anywhere. Hmm. All right, well, I see the word stranded. Remember, my context clues, I'm going to look at all the words and sentences around it and see if it will tell me what it is. Because sometimes it will just come right out and tell you. And other times there's clues that will give you a good um, idea of what it could be. So, okay. So your tire's flat. I know that. And you were stranded at school and you couldn't go anywhere. Oh. So the tire's flat. The car won't move, right? So I can't go anywhere. Stranded must mean that you, yeah, you couldn't go anywhere. There's, you're stuck, you can't get anywhere. So yeah, stranded means you are stuck somewhere and you can't go anywhere else. Awesome, like when you're stranded on an island if your ship sinks or something. Yeah, you couldn't go anywhere else, you're stuck there. Awesome. All right, so the next word I see here or we're going to look at is the word sweet. And I told you, most of you are probably like, I know what sweet means. That's easy. But sometimes words can mean different things. And you have to read the sentence and use the context clues to figure out what they're talking about in the sentence or which one they're talking about. So let's look at this one and see if it's the same kind of sweet you were thinking about. The Mustang was sweet. I've never seen such a cool car. Hmm. That wasn't the kind of sweet. I was thinking like, you know, chocolate is sweet or candy is sweet. And that doesn't seem like that's what they're talking about in this one. 
it says the Mustang was sweet. And I know a Mustang is a kind of car. So the car was sweet. I've never seen such a cool car. Oh. Have you ever heard anybody say something was sweet and they meant that it was cool? Yeah, like, oh, I got some sweet shoes. Yeah, that doesn't mean they were tasting or licking their shoes. Yuck, no. It just means they were really cool. So, yeah, even though sweet is a pretty easy word, it can mean different things. So, you'll have to read the sentence and try to figure out what sweet they're talking about. All right, so we're going to try one more together, and then I'm going to let you try the other ones in the test in a little bit, okay? So let's do one more together. We're going to use the word plethora. Yeah, this is one right here, plethora. Now that's a word you maybe have never heard before, plethora. What in the world could a plethora be? Well, let's read the sentence and find out. There was a plethora of books at the library. There were so many that I couldn't decide which one to get. Okay. Well, there's some clues in this one, too, to help me figure out what a plethora was. It says there's a plethora of books at the library. There were so many that I couldn't decide which one to get. I know libraries definitely have lots of books. And it even says that right here. There were so many. And there was a plethora. Oh, plethora must mean there is, yeah, a lot of something. So, yeah, plethora means a lot. Like if you go to Walmart and you're looking for some cookies, if you go in the cookie aisle, there's a plethora of cookies for you to choose from, right? Yeah, there's a bunch of different ones. So plethora just means a lot of things that you can choose from or there are a lot of things there. So good. That was a hard word and we figured it out. All right, so that leaves us with five words. And I'm going to go ahead and click on each of the sentences that go with these words. And you guys, you're going to click on your test here in just a second, and you'll see these five words in these five sentences, and you're just going to use the context clues to try to figure out what they could be, okay? So remember, you're going to read the sentence, find the word, and look for the clues to figure out what it could mean. And you're just going to write in it what it could mean. Now, when you take the test, it's not going to grade it for you this time because it, where you're typing it, I'm going to have to be able to read it to grade it. So, don't expect a score yet until I grade it, okay? All right. I know that you guys are going to do really great on these, and if you do have any trouble, you can send me a message and I will help you. Good luck on your context clues, guys.